everybody happy friday so today we're going to be reading gliding animals some animals are good at flying most birds bats and insects fly to move around hunt for food and stay safe from other animals flying animals move their wings up and down to stay in the air for long periods of time and if you notice, I'm really glad, right here it says there, T-H-E-I-R, and it has the I because they belong to them. They're their wings. So that's awesome that it has that. Okay, let's continue. Some animals can't fly, but they do the next best thing. They glide. Gliding animals include some types of frogs, lizards, squirrels, fish, and even snakes. Wow, I didn't know that about snakes. That's really cool. Okay. They can't stay in the air for very long, but they can glide for short distances. Okay, that makes more sense about a snake being able to glide then. Gliding animals have special body parts that help them glide. Flying squirrels and flying dragons have large flaps of skin on the sides of their bodies. Flying frogs have web skin between their toes. These areas of skin pop out to catch the air as they leap from tree to tree. Wow, that's really awesome. Let's zoom in so we can see. Right over here is the northern flying squirrel. To be honest, I didn't know that was a thing, a flying squirrel, which I think is so awesome. So it shows us a picture and it says there's their claws for climbing. Um... Loose skin spread between the front and back legs for gliding and a long bushy tail, which is very cool, which you see on a regular squirrel as well. I'm sorry. Let's look at the flying dragon lizard. Wow. Long tail helps let the lizard balance when gliding. So that makes sense. It helps them to balance. And the flaps of the skin at the neck and body spread for gliding, spread wide for gliding. Wow. Wow. Let's look at the um, flying frog. Let's zoom out a little bit. Sorry, I keep switching to the next page. Okay, flying frog. Flaps of skin between toes spread wide for gliding. Wow, that's really cool. I feel like I've seen a frog actually with like webbed feet like that, and I maybe I just never realized that they were a flying frog. Maybe a couple of you have too, which is really awesome. All right, let's go on to our next page. Let's zoom back out, and there we are. Okay. Going to zoom back in. Okay. Oh my goodness, what's happening? Oh, there we are. Okay. Sorry, guys. Okay. Flying fish are found in warm oceans. They speed up while swimming, then leap high out of the water. Large fins on their sides catch the air and help them glide over the waves. Gliding may be the best way for flying fish to escape from underwater predators. Wow. Flying snakes climb trees and then push themselves off a branch. They flatten their bodies into the shape of a wing to glide safely from tree to tree. Apart from flying, flying fish, gliding animals are mostly found in thick forests and jungles. Wow, I didn't know that about a snake, that it climbs up a tree. Wow, that's actually very fascinating to me because... They flatten their bodies. Wow. Um, I'm not sure about you guys, but I did not know that about a snake. I thought they just slithered on the ground. So that's really cool that they go up trees as well. And then right over here, we have a chart that says flying animals versus gliding animals. So it tells you the ones that can fly, tells you the ones that can glide. And then it says, can it fly up? Yes or no. Um, wings are made of, tells you what kind steers in the air, and their bones. So if you notice here, none of the gliding animals can fly upwards, which is very interesting. They can't fly upwards, but all of the flying animals can. So gliding cannot and flying can, which is very interesting. Let's read the do you know. Some dinosaurs could fly, but they weren't the ancestors of modern birds. Today's birds are, birds are descendants from small dinosaurs such as Microraptor, which could glide but not fly. Hmm, very 
quite interesting. Good to know. I never actually knew all of these things and I really love animals. So I hope you guys learned a couple of new facts today and I loved reading for you guys. Let me know if you need any help. Have a great Friday.